Hello and welcome to Building Resilience in Children. Today, we have come back answering one question because this is one of the questions, of course, you know, we ask during the workshops. And of course, you know, what we gain from those workshops, the parents then came together and said, well, these are the ways that I have seen an improvement in my child or this is how you can support them. So what we have done is we have condensed all of that material from the workshop into a content that might be helpful for you guys. So let's dive in. Now, first of all, engaging with art can have a very positive impact on intelligence and cognitive abilities in many different ways. So while art itself may not directly increase intelligence, it provides various cognitive and developmental benefits that can enhance the overall intellectual growth. Okay, so because we thought during the workshop, of course, you know, one of the things that we were talking about is like um, problem solving because art encourages creative thinking and problem solving. So when engaging with art, individuals often need to think outside the box, explore alternative perspectives and find innovative solutions. Now, these skills can transfer to other areas of life, including academic and professional settings, improving the intelligence in terms of originality and adaptability. The other thing that um, you know was discussed was very much like how art helps in interpreting. So art does invite uh, interpretation and analysis, again fostering critical thinking skills, analyzing artwork, of course requires observation, evaluation of different elements and the ability to draw connections. You will see oftentimes the schools that take the children out to kind of draw on objects and stuff and these are the part of their developmental um, exercise of course. So developing these analytical skills can improve intelligence by actually actually enhancing reasoning abilities and the capacity to make informed judgments. So let's consider a famous painting, say for example, like, you know, Leonardo da Vinci's um, Mona Lisa. Now in this artwork, um, what has been the subject of the countless uh, interpretations and debates, you know, showcasing how art invites various meanings and perspectives. So say for example, when you look into the Thing. Of course, I mean, this is more kind of a modern version of it. Um, but one aspect that invites interpretation is the enigmatic uh, expression of Mona Lisa in the painting. Now, some argue that her smile suggests mystery or intrigue, while others see it as a symbol of contentment or even sadness. So the ambiguous nature of her expression allows viewers to project their own emotions and interpretations onto the artwork. And, and you can also see bits of symbolism because the elements within the painting can also be subject to interpretation. Um, for instance, the landscape in the background has been analyzed extensively, uh, with some proposing that it represents a specific location, while others see it as a metaphorical or symbolic backdrop. You know, So the inclusion of objects like the wheel, the, uh, the hands, or the positioning of the figure can all also be interpreted in various ways, adding layers of meaning to the artwork. Now, the artistic techniques employed by Da Vinci in Mona Lisa can evoke different interpretations and the use of fumato, a technique that actually creates soft and blurred edges, adds the mysterious atmosphere of the painting. Um, so some viewers might interpret this technique as uh, representing a dreamlike quality or a sense of on the, the state of mind you are in, you can actually interpret. And that's the way that you can also build a conversation around art. Now, art, especially visual art, enhances visual special skills as well, so which are essential for understanding and interpreting visual information. So creating or appreciating art can improve skills such as spatial awareness, pattern recognition, and spatial reasoning. Now, these abilities are valuable in various disciplines, including mathematics, engineering, and architecture. Um, the other thing that was discussed was regarding the emotions. So art often evokes emotions and encourages emotional exploration. So engaging with art can help individuals develop in, uh, emotional intelligence by fostering self-awareness, empathy, and the ability to understand and express emotions effectively. 
So emotional impo- uh, intelligence is associated with improved social skills, problem solving and decision making abilities. And, and those are the kind of things um, that can also, again, open up conversations around the emotional well-being of your children. Um, creating or studying art requires concentration and attention to detail as well. So disengagement um, can, of course, strengthen memory and focus as individuals need to recall and apply knowledge techniques or artistic concepts. So enhancing these cognitive skills can have a positive impact on the overall intelligence. Now, art provides a different window into, um, sorry, provides a, a window into different cultures, actually, and and historical periods and artistic movements. So engaging with art exposes individuals to diverse perspectives and foster a broader understanding of the world. So gaining knowledge about art and its context can expand intellectual horizons, for sure, promoting cultural literacy and a deeper appreciation for aesthetics. It is important to note that the effect of art on intelligence may vary from person to person, so there is no one-size-fits-all kind of approach. Um, And the extent of the impact depends on the factors such as the intensity, duration of engagement with the art, um, the kind of space that you are in, the kind of discussion that you're having. Nevertheless, incorporating art into one's life can be a valuable tool for intellectual growth and development like some of the um, some of the parents were talking about how when their child was feeling a kind of emotional um, you know uh, quite a bit emotional they gave them the um, the paint box and all of that so they messed around it however after a certain period of time they actually calmed down as well so it's more about exploring with how you can engage with your child in a meaningful way at the same time providing them with different things that they can use to build their resilience. So that's it for this video today. Thank you very much for watching. And if you are not already following us on Facebook or on Instagram or on Twitter, please do reach out to us. Uh, We will be very happy to um, get some ideas from you or even your feedback. And if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do subscribe. And if you like the content that we are making, um, please do share that with your family and friends if you think that will come to an use. So thank you very much again for being part of our family and I'll see you in the next one. Stay well.